So hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video we're going to be looking at the vehicle tracker from Monimoto. So uh, stick around, stay tuned if you want to hear more about this product. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, I ordered this product about two days ago from Monimoto. It's direct from their website at uh, www.monimoto.com and uh, it arrived in two days. Uh, I've just unpacked it. It comes in a uh, cylindrical tube and uh, inside the tube um, you have uh, instruction booklet uh, but also you have the cylindrical GPS tracker and uh, this is uh, battery powered. I believe it lasts about a year with the battery and also it has a SIM card inside. Uh, the SIM card in this product uh, is actually free uh, for the first two months and then you get a notification and I think it's about two pounds per month just to keep that SIM card active and thereafter. Uh, so what else is in the box? Um, so you get a key fob that you can put on your keys and uh, basically when this key uh, fob is away from the motorcycle uh, the actual GPS tracker will be armed and uh, if someone was to move your motorcycle then uh, you would get a alert on your phone, a text message, and then every five minutes you would get an alert with a GPS uh, Google mapped location of where the actual motorcycle is so that you can uh, then retrieve the bike or pass that information onto the police and then they can retrieve it for you. Uh, also, you actually get some uh, cable ties in the pack and there's some little holes just in the back here and here so you can actually uh, fasten that somewhere neatly on the bike, tucked out of the way. Uh, you don't want this to be on view to the uh, thieves. So a uh, simple place that they would look would be underneath the seat. So I'd recommend not putting this underneath the seat, but somewhere a little bit more down into the depths of the motorcycle. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, you just download an app from Monimoto and uh, basically you uh, sync it up via Bluetooth. Once it's uh, activated, that's all you need to do. And uh, like I say, when the key is away from the motorcycle, it's armed, but when the key is in a certain distance uh, next to the motorcycle, uh, the actual uh, GPS tracker won't activate. So always keep it on your key ring or on your person when you're riding the motorcycle. Um, what we'll do now, we'll actually go out to a, uh, an area, not near my home obviously, and I'll show you exactly how this product works and I'll also show you the notifications and also the mapping that it sends to your mobile phone. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay, so what I've done, I've actually taken the key fob and I've put it uh, over there near that tree. And uh, what I'm going to do now is simulate somebody stealing my motorcycle. So the key fob will be away from the bike. And also I'll show you the notification, the call, etc. on my uh, mobile screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk the bike over that way until I get a call from my money moto, which is, by the way, tucked away in the depths of this bike. The unit itself, it looks uh, quite big on uh, the pictures, but it's actually quite small. And uh, my advice would be to put it somewhere deep where it's hard to get to so the uh, the thief cannot get to it that easily let's walk the bike over here and see what happens so that's pretty cool isn't it okay so it's actually called me it sent me a text alert and uh, basically if i go into the app it will give me the coordinates of the motorcycle just here so I can zoom in all the way in on that glass and dock, and that's where the motorcycle is located. So yeah, Monimoto live tracking. It works, it's located the bike, and it showed me where the bike is on a map, and it will keep updating me until the key fob is paired or near the bike again. Okay, so I just need to pick my key fob back up now. I'll just put that back onto the keys. Okay, so the Monimoto motorcycle tracker works, all tested, and uh, really happy with the, uh, the performance. I probably got about 50 meters away from the actual key fob when it called me to alert me that the bike was stolen. So, we're just at Glass and Dock. The burger van's very busy. We'll carry on with our journey. 